Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here and do our weekly read per usual for August 7th through the 11th. So if you are seeing this during, this is meant for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. We have our 8-8 portal, aka the Lion's Gate Abundance portal coming forward. Tomorrow I will be doing separate reads about that, but also just letting you know it's the perfect time to manifest health, wealth, love, gratitude. So be on the lookout for that. Let me know in the comments below what are you manifesting with the 8-8 portal. Speak it into existence as if it's already here. Hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I post the readings tomorrow what you can be on the lookout for. But without further ado, we have four decks in front of us. Let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to know for the week ahead? Please and thank you, spirit. What do we need to know for the week ahead? Ooh, okay. Trusting our intuition, divine masculine energy. So you definitely are being very intuitive. You are very confident at this point in time. You're trusting your intuition, but you're also emotionally aware. With the emperor coming out, there's this ability to focus in on your stability, your practicality, you know, your future, and it's going to lead you into being dependable. This could be chasing your career, your dreams, your aspirations out here with the seven of cups, but there's a lot of options that are coming your way when it comes to your financials. With this, we have the ace of pentacles. This is a financial new beginning, a new investment multiple streams of income, a bonus, you know, figuring out a business plan, health, wealth, love, gratitude. And with the Empress card, you know, you're going to have to balance um, practicality and, you know, reality. Because when this comes in, you're finally getting the recognition you deserve. You are the star, baby. All eyes are on you. You have this inspiration, this excitement, this focus on, you know, healing, moving forward in this rebirth. It really is because you've closed out karmic cycles when it comes to your financials. Maybe this is the lack, scarcity, poverty mindset, you know, feeling like, I don't know if this is for me. Is it meant to be? I mean, the answer is yes. At the bottom of the deck, we have the sun card, which is the Leo card. This will be taking place during Leo season. You are very positive. You're focused on your freedom, success, optimism about this. Good luck is working out in your favor, and you're very much excited about the future. I do see this opportunity of the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, bringing things in a balance. This is a gift from the universe. You've done the hard work and you're receiving what you need. You're finally ready to feel appreciated, valued, respected. And with the king of pentacles, you could be welcoming in an earth sign, someone who's going to push you to help build this empire, who's mature, who's well grounded, who's not very much of a risk taker, maybe a little bit of a homebody, but someone who is stable, secure and reliable. And you are just being very magnetic. You are attracting all these good things coming your way, being bold, being confident, knowing your worth this Leo season. You could be a Leo, but you know, you're enjoying the limelight, but also enjoying your home life. And with the page of pentacles, there's good news and earthly matters. You're setting the goals and you're being very optimistic about, you know, this increased income, this, you know, equal give and take, this need to develop and learn more knowledge. And I'm telling you, with the Eight of Pentacles, this is long overdue. You've had the patience, the dedication. You focused in on building yourself from the ground up. And now you're ready for this accomplishment, this success in life. You know, this reward is going to be right around the corner. I do see this opportunity of standing your ground, knowing your worth, taking the higher road, minding your own business, stay in your own lane. If someone is giving you shit, is not helping with the situation, you need to be able to walk away because I'm telling you that's going to be your test. You've learned to fill up your own cup. Now it's overflowing. You're ready to give to other people. And like I said earlier, there's this new beginning, this new relationship, possibly with that king of pentacles. But you need to be careful that you don't fall into your possessive energy, you know, controlling of people, places, and things, you know. It's definitely my, my, mine energy. And trust me, babe, it's going to be yours. But you can't let those insecurities and those previous relationships impact this. 
There's this ability with the Four of Wands. It's kind of like 11-11. You've been wishing, manifesting to bring this community together and to feel like, you know, you have your forever person. This 8-8 eight, eight portal with the Strength card is going to be extremely um, logical and very you know, like monumental in your life. You need to go ahead and manifest as if it's already here. You're finding the inner strength and the confidence that you need to proceed forward. And you're no longer dealing with energy vampires, people that go ahead and take advantage of the situation. You know, you just leave feeling icky, drained. You know, this is this because this person has bad vices, addiction, drugs, alcohol, codependency. My bad habits are affecting me. They could be anger issues, but they see you having this glow up and they're wondering, why not me? Why this person? And that's because you've done the work and God Universe Source is really blessing you and protecting you throughout this. You know that these blessings are coming. You feel it deep down and the universe wants you to know your money issues are coming to an end. This lack, scarcity, poverty mindset, finances holding you back, not being able to travel, experience life, be present, happy in the moment. You really are getting that opportunity as well for a divine masculine and emperor energy. Someone who loves the logical, the familiar is ready to chase after you and fight for this bond. They remember this connection and I'm telling you, you have multiple options coming in with the entanglement. There could be past life lovers making a comeback, especially when it comes to your twin flame. You have my soul to infinity and beyond. Insane chemistry and I think, you know, you've leveled up. Hose smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place. You're not going to deal with this backstabbing, half-assed breadcrumbing energy, right? You want someone who is emotionally aware, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have been watching you. They see what you're up to and with whom. They're spying on you. They got fake accounts out there. But I'm telling you, just be aware that not everyone has the best intentions. Someone could be coming back. A karmic energy, a lower negative, toxic, unhealthy connection that could be coming back and has red flags. Could be lying to you that they want to see where things go. They want to app offer you, you know, this happily ever after. But I think you know deep down you want something that is long, stable, and secure that someone's in it for the long haul, this twin reunion. I'm fighting for you. So this is Aries Leo Sag energy. This passionate, explosive new connection is ready to come forward and offer you this because you have the final say. Do you stay? Do you go? Who do you want? And what do you want to manifest? Your whole entire vibe, your energy does not lie. As I said earlier, you're very magnetic. You're attracting everything you want in your life. And with the Psalms 23 Pharaoh's awakening, you're able to see people's true colors, their true intentions, wolves in sheep clothing. With the golden child, there really is this energy of being protected by God, universe, source, and bringing in the soul tribe and family. They're here to help you with your purpose when no one else can. You know, they're meant to be in your life for a reason. They're either a blessing or a lesson. And I think you're cutting out those lessons. You've learned those cycles and you're going to, you know, peace out. Watch my exit. I'm ready to move on because you learn to put up personal boundaries. You decided what you are and are not going to deal with, with this foundation, this home, this survival. You are stable, grounded, and secure. You're making healthy choices in your love life, in your personal life, in your spiritual life, right? So that's your mental, physical, emotional health. And you're trusting divine timing. You're getting... So many downloads, you could be seeing a lot of 777, but this energy is really to allow you to realize who you need to get out of your life. You need to trust yourself deep down. You can ask for a million signs, but if you don't trust it and act on it and choose yourself and prioritize yourself, it's not going to happen. You need to know your self-worth because I'm telling you, someone's mask is going to come off. They haven't been showing their true selves and they're ready to tell you how they feel, my love. Let's jump to the Beach Time Soul Oracle. What do my besties need to know for the week ahead? Yeah, you got options. Like I said, many people are coming in forward, you know, ready to see what's up, what you're up to. And I think you're just not looking for anything serious. You're loving yourself. You're being present in the moment. You could be hanging out with your friends. And you're deciding what you are and are not going to deal with. You have boundaries. And sometimes, you know, you're avoiding a call, a conversation. Maybe you have someone unblocked that is from the past that keeps reminiscing and wanting to, you know, have this keepsake or let's revisit it. And you're learning from the past and you're ready to make these new memories. And I think there's this opportunity of meeting someone, getting to know someone, putting yourself out there 
with the coffee cup, you know, you're savoring the moment and you're feeling uplifted. This could lead into something very, you know, substantial. You're building it from the foundation, from the ground up. And, you know, you're not going to sabotage this. You've learned from your past mistakes. You've been persistent. You've been working on healing yourself. And when this love call in, comes in, someone's thinking of you and letting you know this is a message of love and this abundance. You need to keep a positive mindset. Be on the lookout for that 888, especially on August 8th, that you are manifesting exactly what you want. You're grateful. You're present in the moment. And with these wedding rings coming out, there is potential for a long-term soul connection. Someone who's in it for the long haul and, you know, who's going to give you this everlasting promise. And for some of you, this might be your twin flame, your yin to your yang, one soul, two bodies. The duality, there can't be light without dark because you have learned that lesson of loving yourself, putting yourself first, and prioritizing. And instead of this, just be careful. Some people might come back. And they might just want to hook up, see if they can be friends with benefits. And I think you're ready for more. This is an outdated thinking. You're replaying these events over and over in your head. And you're ready to grow and transform your life. There's no second chances here. And I think you want something that has insane chemistry, that is passionate, that is loving. And you're really able to enjoy the moment fully and possibly welcome in the soulmate, the soul partnership. You know, it's an agreement that this person is, you know, their strengths are your weaknesses and you really complement each other and you're ready to make these new memories. And you might miss the past and reminisce, but you know you deserve more. You deserve this unconditional loving, this giving and receiving affect affection. You're ready to fall in love. And with that, at the bottom of the deck, you know, you're making healthy choices in love and self-care and being happier in your life. With this love card, there's this unconditional love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And meanwhile, you have been focused in on you, doing that shadow work, conquering those hard challenges in your life. And with the butterfly, your relationship is evolving. It's moving to the next phase. And, you know, you are embracing, healing that inner child and growing and transforming just like a butterfly does going from the cocoon or going from being a caterpillar into the cocoon and then transforming into the butterfly. But with that, you have to put yourself out there. Maybe you're going to go on a date this week and really get to know someone, someone who thinks of you as the end game, the long-term relationship, this completion, this union, this devotion. And they see you as a happily ever after. They see you as this paradise, you know, this oneness. You're really enjoying each other and expressing how you feel. But this is on time limit and time exposure. So this is going to come to a completion very soon. It is a fast moving energy. As long as you go ahead and open up your heart, you're welcome in love and you're able to realize you deserve the world and your ship of abundance is coming in. You're receiving exactly what you want, need and desire financially, emotionally, in your friendships, your relationships, in any other area of your life, including your career and finances. But bestie, go ahead and think about that question you want answered in the middle of the week um, or by the end of the week. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do you need to know about your situation? Thank you, spirit. Well, first and foremost, it's going to be up to you. You have the final say. You need to walk the walk and talk the talk. But I do see romance coming in for you within the next few months. So I would say two to four months is when you could kind of expect someone to come in, reveal their true feelings, and really tell you how they feel. There's going to be some big happy changes coming your way. Just be on the lookout for a sign. I'm going to give you a sign of a caterpillar. If you see that, that's kind of, you know, symbolism of that growth, that transformation in your life of aligning your chakras and filling up your own cup mentally, physically, and emotionally. And the universe is saying, you know, there's going to require a little bit of patience, but, you know, two to four months from now, it's going to be successful. It's going to be everything you want, need, and desire. And it's going to be your abundance, everything you can imagine, and more financial freedom, good quality friends, you know, a new job and more money, um, happiness, travel, meeting the one, really embracing this new chapter and manifesting in exactly what you want, bestie. 
You deserve the world and I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Let me know in the comments below if you made it to the end. Put an 888 with a cute little caterpillar or a butterfly and make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. I love you and I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye, bestie.